Did you guys post the number? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. We post the number. We're going to the phones again this time for trivia. We're going to be answering a series of questions in no particular order written by Megan. We don't know what the questions are. No. Nope. <laughs> and we most likely won't know what the answers are. Either. And we're assuming we don't know the answers because we're all old men. And we, <laughs> as, as proven by the podcast, we drink too much and our brains are deteriorating. <laughs> I can't even say deteriorating. I'm going to jump into something quickly. I'm noticing all three of us are not wearing hats. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> We're not wearing Why hats. Why are we not wearing hats I was today? thinking the same thing. We all decided not to wear hats on the I, same I day. I thought today as I was uh, barely dressing myself that I was like, uh, I shouldn't wear a hat. I've been wearing too many hats on the thing. That's what I, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, what, what am I, 12? That's something I was thinking about uh, on the way over here. So I, I, I felt in my pocket that I didn't have any lip balm in my pocket. And the thing is, is like somehow my lips know when I don't have lip balm in my pocket. <laughs> my lips only get dry if I don't have it in my pocket. Attention, brain. This is lips. Uh, I believe there's no balm in the pocket. Attention, today. thigh. Thigh. Do you notice? Do you feel? Uh, this is lips. Uh, uh, come in, thigh. Thigh. Are you picking up any balm down there? Uh, we're sensing a no balm scenario. Let, let us know if no balm is go, and we will dry the lips. <laughs> Why? That's a. It's a strange thing. I'm, I swear to God, it, it. Every single fucking time, I don't have lip balm in my pocket. Mine? I have pop, lip what balm. Are right you guys with your lip I balm? I don't trade lip balms with others that's a weird thing to want to share just, with me just, i appreciate just kiss. it and then, the, then, then the bomb <laughs> you could wipe off the you could wipe off the top layer that and then does look like it is that is that uh caitlin's mom yeah it's... oh that's how good many things stuff. do you have in your pocket so you have uh, lip balm car keys nope that's oh, it shit. i got lip balm and uh and a wallet and it's funny oh, yeah, I, I always have lip la is very dry does this go on it's windy does this go on glossy or matte it starts a little glossy, then then goes matte. Well, oh, I mean, matte keep an eye out for you guys' as glossy lips. When was the last man? time you used this? This morning. Mm. Oh, his lips don't look glossy at all. It's great. You got any cold source? I don't think so. I would either way. I would wipe it off. <laughs> nice catch. Thanks. <laughs> all right, it's let's go to the phones. Okay. Let's go to the phones. Thanks for calling the Always Sunny Podcast. You're on with Rob, Charlie, and Glenn. Who is this? Who oh, are my God. Who you're yeah. for- Fellas, John Crispo from Dallas. How's everybody doing today? Oh, uh, yeah. John Crispo from Dallas. Texas Thanks for in calling house. in. John, how do you feel as though you're going to fare at It's Always Sunny Trivia? Are you a big uh, fan? You know, here's the problem. Here's the problem is I I love the show. Watched it through all, every season, maybe Maybe get six or seven times the pandemic got real boring for me, mm-hmm. but uh, but I gotta say, fellas, I banged my head around quite a lot playing sports growing up, so I'm not sure how much I held on Fair to. Fair enough. Okay. All right, all enough. right, That's all right. So a sick. man after my own heart. John Unsure with, about his memory. Yeah, John with the damaged brains. Let's get to the <laughs> trivia, shall we? If you get three in a row without us jumping in with a chance to steal which means you got to answer them fairly quickly. Yeah, no Googling. Uh, No Googling. Then we will send you an official signed certificate stating that you, in fact, do not have donkey brains. All right, let's 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 hear it, Megan. Let's go. The first question is from season four, episode one, Mac and Dennis Manhunters. The question is, who do Mac and Dennis manhunt? Uh, Cricket. Very okay, good. That is correct. Yes, that so, is okay. correct. So, so, I mean, really so, so I what is what is rickety cricket? <laughs> yeah. What is a yes, rickety cricket? Very good. Okay. Jeopardy very style. Good. Okay, so very that's good. one point to you. I'll ask a question from a fan favorite episode, season eight, episode nine. The gang dines out. The question is, where did Dennis go down on Chrissy Orlando? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I know. Wait, um, I think I know this. Do I need? Do I need to know whose trampoline it was? Yeah. No, yeah. you do. No, you do not. <laughs> the trampoline. Yeah. Wow. Very good. Oh, very, very good. good. Very good. All right. Great, great answer. And you'll be happy to know that your 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 beaten brain is is doing okay. Okay. In season three, episode fourteen, bums making a mess all over the city. A mix of which band's greatest hits is taped over by Charlie when he's undercover as Serpico? Yeah. I know. yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't have that one. Search that broken brain, John. 
Guys, do you want to steal? Yeah, I'll take this one. Uh, it's the Spin Doctors mix. <laughs> that is <laughs> correct. <laughs> mix, that's right. oh. That is correct. Well, it looks right, like we well, John, know about our own playing. TV show a little bit more than John in Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Texas John, good talking to you, buddy. Love the podcast. Thanks, Appreciate man. You having me on. Thanks, John. Oh, thanks, Appreciate John. it. Thanks. Take care of that brain, Be well. You got donkey brains. This was really fun writing up all this trivia, you guys. Was it? Yeah, was. I liked it. I'm glad you liked that. I, I do I too. Found that excruciating. Yeah. <laughs> See you right, say let's that. Go. But... Let's go to the phones. Let's go to the phones. Okay. Let's go to the phones. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Thank you for calling the Always Sunny Podcast. You're on with Rob, Charlie, and Glenn. Hi, Megan. Oh, hello. All right. Who's this? Who do we have here? Hi, Charlie. My name is John. How are you guys? This is nuts. Hi, guys. <laughs> John, how are you? Where are you calling from, John? I think you're our second John. Mm-hmm. I'm calling from Boca Raton, Florida, but I live in West Hollywood. So. Oh, oh, Boca, Boca Raton, just uh, <laughs> yeah, all right, just you and a bunch of uh, retired people, huh? Do you think you know more about the sh- our own TV yeah, show than us? You, you, you ready to do a little trivia? I'm so excited. Yeah, go ahead. Excellent. Well, if you get three questions in a row correct without us jumping in with a chance to steal, which means you have to answer them at a fairly timely manner uh we will send you an official certificate signed by the three of us stating that you in fact do not have donkey brains the first question is from season nine episode three the gang tries desperately to win an award what is the name of the signature drink at suds which is which is the bar that the gang goes to i know the bar with all the lights and the colors i have and like the really bright oh my i have no idea guys the name of the drink? I'm a bartender, too. I have no idea. Well, the drink is called a blue hole. And we'll, <laughs> take, we'll take blue three hole. blue holes. <laughs> it's a blue hole and it's a massive fish bowl. It's a massive fish bowl. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're not a winner today, John, but uh, you're a winner for making it onto the podcast. What are you doing today? What's what's happening with you? Yeah, what's on the docket? What are you, re- what are you doing in Raton? Man, I'm, gonna, I'm really going to hit the link. No, I'm not. I, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just visiting a friend out here. I miss L.A., but... Um, it's nice out here. It's very sunny. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's why so many people go there to retire. Sunny and Boca now, Raton. is your friend an 80-year-old man? <laughs> no, no, no. My, no, but I am staying with his 65-year-old mother. Of course. <laughs> sure. There it is. Uh, all right, John. Well, uh, it was great talking to you, buddy. Uh, thanks for calling right, in. Thank you guys Enjoy so much. the you guys Florida sunshine. freaking amazing. I love two of you guys. Oh. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Sorry, you lost the game. I'll just keep that one there. Oh, nice one. All right. Hilarious. Thanks, John. See you, John. You got donkey brains. Thanks for calling the Always Sunny Podcast. You're on with Rob, Charlie, and Glenn. Hi. Hello. Yo, what's going on? Yo, good Man, morning. You know, we're just sitting here doing some trivia. What's going on with you? And what's your name? My name's John, man. John, another so John. Johns. So many Johns <laughs> today. Are you uh, fucking with us? Uh, Are yeah. you fucking with us right now, John? <laughs> All right, Megan, let's go to the question. Sick. Great. Um, so this question is from season nine, episode five, Mac Day. The question is, what happens if anyone is caught complaining on Mac Day? I, th- I know, I I know that they're granted, we're all granted like, what is it? Uh one scream into a pillow. Yeah. yeah. But then, yeah. Uh, Do you know? Could you could you answer? Um, who is the first to use the screaming pillow? Um, is it Charlie? Oh no, nope. got no. that wrong. I believe Dennis. De- oh, right. Sorry, John, you and just lost. I believe what happens, John, <laughs> I know. when you complain on Mac Day is another day another, is added to whole that. Other day. Day. That is yeah. true. Another day. That is very true. Well, yeah. But with me, it's, yeah. it's Country Mac. Yeah, it's Country Mac that gets me distracted. You know? Yeah, yeah. Throw it off my away. John, I'm so sorry, but it's been it proven today that you do, in fact, have donkey brains, or at the very least, can't prove that you don't. Yeah, <laughs> there's no such certificate proving that you don't. But, sorry, John, John, it was great talking to you, and one day you'll be the type of person who could score a single point at a karate tournament like in <laughs> Very Mac good. Day. Or a single point in a... It's always sunny trivia, but today... You are not a single point. <laughs> not a single point will be allotted to you, unfortunately. Have yeah. a wonderful day! You got donkey brains. 
All right, what John is next, Megan? Yeah. <laughs> Put the next John through. <laughs> Just doing all Johns we today. Do an all John day. <laughs> Just an all John call-in day. Thanks for calling the Always Sunny podcast. You're on with Rob, Charlie, and Glenn. Hey oh. Hey oh. Hey oh. Now who's calling today? Alex. My name is Alex. Oh. Alex. Thank goodness. We've had a lot of Johns. It's nice to Johns. break it up with an Alex. Alex, where are you calling us from? Uh Rochester, New York. John, okay. John, New York. All right. Um, season seven, episode six, The Storm of the Century. What is the name of the busty Channel 5 news reporter covering the storm? <laughs> oh, yeah. fuck. Oh, oh is it, I, I is it Donna or something? Does it start with a D? Oh, you're, uh, you're, you're in the very family. Close. You're the, in the family. The, the, second, the, the second name starts with a D. The name is Jackie, Jackie DiNardo. Oh, Jackie, Jackie DiNardo. DiNardo. <laughs> that is true. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, wow. Alex. Well, you know. You're so busty. How could I forget her? That's <laughs> the problem. You weren't that. thinking of her name. You weren't looking at her name. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Alex, but uh, you have no such certificate proving that you don't have donkey brains. Yeah. Therefore, the assumption will be moving forward that you do indeed have donkey brains. And we can't have a donkey brain man out there driving on the road. So, um, so we're going to have to, you're going to lose your license. You're going to lose your license. Yeah. Sorry, Alex. That's that's understandable. Yeah, that, right. that makes yeah. sense. Listen, man, it's been a pleasure. Yes, uh, we thank have you. A strict no donkey policy on the podcast. Uh, yeah. So Meg, hang up on Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Alex. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> you got donkey brains. All right, here we go. Thank you for calling the Always Sunny Podcast. You're on with Rob, Charlie, and Glenn. Hello, hello. Hi, hi. hi. Who's calling today? <laughs> I'm sorry. Who are you? <laughs> oh, I'm Jess. Hey, Jess. Hey, where, Jess. Where are you calling us from? Uh, Michigan. Jess. Oh, hey. right. from Michigan. Where in Michigan are you from? Uh, Jackson area. Got it. It's kind of a shitty little city. Oh. All right. Okay. All right. Ouch. Jess from the shitty little city area of Jackson, <laughs> Michigan. For uh, sure. We're going to play a little trivia today. Uh, are you a big It's Always Sunny fan? Know your trivia? Know your stuff? I'd like to think so. Okay. All right. So here we go, Jess. The first question is from season five, episode five, The Waitress is Getting Married. The question is, Charlie pops an H on a box to remind him that it's filled with what? Hornets. Yeah. There, 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 there you go. There you go. No hesitation. No hesitation. I love it. Box no of man hornets. Left box no of hornets. You're no going to want to pop an H on that box if you have a box of hornets at home. Go ahead and pop an H on there. Yeah. Oh, I always do. Always do. Oh, <laughs> label your hornets. All right. Moving right along. Okay. You're doing great. Um, <clears throat> this one's from season nine, episode six. The gang saves the day. When Dee saves the day in her fantasy, who does she end up marrying for 17 minutes? Hmm? Uh, Josh Groban. Yeah. Yes. Good. She yeah, is a Grobanite, of course. That's okay. good. I, forgot, I mean, it, obviously. At yeah. some point, wouldn't. didn't we have like a Brad Pitt thing where she was like fantasizing about Brad Pitt? And then we like. We I think she said she dumped him for Groban. Yeah. Or no, she might have dumped Groban for him. Yeah. All right. Should we just award the third point for knowing that I detail? Mean, That's pretty I mean. That specific. is a good detail. Good. Let's see if I you mean. get her. It's going to feel better if, if you If you get this, you will be the first person to stump us. Yeah, and you yeah. seem very really? confident. Yes. Well, I, not that we've been stumped. Let's well, just, the first you know, person to, to get all <laughs> the three. The first right. person, yes, not to, to stump himself. before we yes. jump in. <laughs> yeah, to prove right, that right, they right. do not have the brains of a donkey. There's a lot of donkey brain people out there. I let's, hope. Let's see. Okay. I know. Okay, uh, this is from season twelve, episode six: Hero or Hate Crime. Mac ends up winning the scratcher after all of the conversation. How much is mm. left? Of the scratcher money after 17 hours and three mediators. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, that's really Jesus. tough. That's brutal. <laughs> that is really tough. I know it's less, it's like less than a hundred. By the way, if, I, we, if we don't know, you don't lose. Okay, that's true. Yeah. Like yeah. We, we have to, I think that's we right. have to secure a point. Fuck. That's one of my favorite episodes too. Yeah. Um, that's a tough one. Why don't we just I'll, say, I'll I'll like, can I, can I guess, is it $11? Close. It's fourteen dollars. All right. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Wait, they didn't get it right either. Wait. 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 So. Well, hold on. Can Can I ask a follow up question then? Sure. If you can get this, I think that I think that she should win. Okay. And the question would be, how much is the scratch off worth? To To begin 10, with, ten thousand, right? Yeah. yeah 10, she got I think it. she gets it. Great. A, we she got a winner. I think we've got a winner. We are going to 
oh, send man. you a certificate proving that you're not a donkey brain man. Now this is going to be an official. Or a this, woman. this is going to be a, uh, <laughs> an official uh, certificate uh, proving that you do not have donkey brains that you can use in any job interview. That's right. Moving forward. That's right. And and that definitely is definitely going to uh, come in handy. Certifiable Absolutely. in the state of. Pennsylvania. That's right. And if anyone tries to, you know, uh, put you in a mental institution, then you can just show that certificate and you'll be fine. You can walk around your exactly. shitty little town waving that certificate around and letting all those donkey brain people know that they cannot prove the Hell, way that you yeah. can prove. Yes. You don't have donkey brains. I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah. You nailed it. Nailed it. Nice work. Oh, man. Thank you. You're so our first stay winner. On the line. You're the first winner. No yeah. hee haws for you. Thank you for watching the show. And thank you for not being a donkey. Ding, 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 ding. You don't got donkey brains. Thank you for calling the Always Sunny Podcast. You're on with Rob, Charlie, and Glenn. Hi. Hello. Hello. What's up, boys? What's, What's up? Happening? How you doing? Who's calling? This is Mitch from West LA. Mitch okay, from Mitch. West Mitch. LA. West LA. Mitchy, Mitch. Mitch, okay, Mitch. are you Mitch. a big fan of the show? You, you think you're going to fare well at Sunny Trivia? Of course. I had your guys' DVDs. Excellent. That's how old I am. Okay. First question is from season five, episode nine, Mac and Dennis break up. Question is, when Charlie <laughs> and Frank team up, what do they call themselves? The gruesome twosome. Oh, oh, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Softball. I'm finding I know all of this. Yeah, <laughs> Started with Sorry. a softball. Well, you did write the show. They yeah. should get. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah, too yeah, yeah. No, it's just that I, I don't trust my brain. Okay. Yeah. Um, season four, episode five, Mac and Charlie die, part one. What is the password for the orgy? <laughs> uh, orgy. Yeah. yeah. Killing it, Mitch. Oh, hi, Mitch West LA. All right. Okay. One more, Mitch, and you're going to have no donkey brains. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going to do a slightly harder one because you seem like you know the show pretty well. Season three, episode oh, six, the gang solves the North Korea situation. Mac is wearing a duster and he thinks it makes him look like which actor? Ooh. Good one. Ooh. This is one you can't Ooh. even Google quickly, yeah. probably. Yeah. And the ladies uh, love it. No, no, I'm not. The ladies love it. And the ladies love it. I'm sorry, Mitch. It's Lorenzo Lamas. I see oh, Lorenzo Lamas. Lorenzo Lamas. Mitch, we oh, almost proved that oh, you didn't damn. have donkey oh, brains, but you Mitch. don't have any such certificate. <laughs> <laughs> you got donkey brains. Right, here Thanks for calling the Always Sunny Podcast, John, with Rob, Charlie, and Glenn. Hey, how's it going, gang? Hey, how is it going? Who's calling here? Yeah. This is uh, Patrick from Louisville, Kentucky. All right. All right. Patrick from Louisville. I love hey, it. Hey, Patrick, are you a giant fan? You think, uh, you think you know your Sunny trivia? I'm a giant fan. I think I know a decent bit. I'm excited to see how this goes. Yeah. There's a few episodes I've seen a dozen plus times and a few I've only seen a handful of times. So Excellent. Your first question is from season 10, episode eight. The gang goes on family fight um, on family fight. What is Charlie's answer to the prompt? Name an animal we eat that doesn't eat us. A dragon. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Very right good. away. Uh, dragon. Dragon. <laughs> dragon. I wasn't going to let you all hop in there on that one. <laughs> very good. Very good. 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 All right, Great. one point. Two. One point. Um, <laughs> next question: Season two, episode five hundred dollar baby. What was Frank's nickname as a boxer? Uh, the Trash Man. No, no, no. Oh. As a, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Give it, hold on. Oh, yeah. As a boxer, as a boxer, not a wrestler. Oh, what as was a it? boxer. Oh man. Oh, uh, and you guys were just talking about this previously. That's just tough. This is on the podcast. Oh, is it something like two left hands or something ridiculous? Oh, yeah, Man, so yeah, close. It's it was not, Frankie, Frankie Fast Hands. It was Frankie Fast Hands. Fast hands. Fast hands. Fast hands. Oh. So well, sorry. You have donkey brains. I hope you're a winner. I got donkey brains. It's official. You're a winner in life because you're a loser in this game. <laughs> you got donkey brains. Thank you for calling the Always Sunny Podcast. You're on with Rob, Charlie, and Glenn. Who is this? Hi, this is Joe. And where are you calling from, Joe? I'm from Long Island, New York. Oh, Joe from Long Island. Hi, Joe. Hey, Joe. <laughs> hey, Joe. We're happy to have you on. We're going to play some trivia. You ready? Oh, that that sounds like fun. Let's let's do it, man. Okay, right. okay great. All right. Okay, all right. So, comes, your first question is from season four, episode eight, Patty's Pub, the worst bar in Philadelphia. So, a reporter writes a bad review about Patty's Pub. D makes fun of the reporter for ordering what type of wine? Um. Hmm. Is it 
Is it is it Chardonnay? Yes, yes I think it is, right? Yes. 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 That is Way very go, correct. Joe. You okay, got one Joe. point. That's okay. one point you're for Joe. Shoot, we're shooting for three. You get three shooting in a row, three. you're a big winner. Oh, uh, cool, cool. Thanks, guys. Okay, great. Um, your next question, season seven, episode 10, How Mac Got Fat. Dennis dyes his hair to eradicate the grays. <clears throat> Which superhero does it make him look like? Um... Well, which superhero does he think it makes sense? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really the question. Um, Actually, he doesn't even think that. Yeah, they say. We that say it. it. And cool, then he he's says, the original. I, he's the original. Oh, that's right, right. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. That was a clue. Um, that it, was a clue. It, okay, guys, is it is it Clark Kent or, or Superman Correct. or something like that? It yeah, is we led, we led you along. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's right. Joe. Okay, Joe. Joe. We led, okay. we teed you up there. It's okay, Superman. He was the original. He was the original. He was, he was the original. Was the original. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, uh, this is a harder one because you gotten two right. Um, season four, episode four, Max banging the waitress. Charlie brings a bunch of beers over to drink with his best friend, Mac. How many beers were Charlie and Mac planning on drinking? Um... I hear typing, so help me God. Do not no. Google this. All right. Chance, no, no, no. chance I'm, to steal. I'm not, I'm not typing. I'm chance I'm to steal. Like, Give an answer. Chance to steal. Five, How many? four, three, two, one. What's your answer? A uh, whole case. Uh, 24. Yeah. Hey! 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 Joe, you're our big winner. Uh, we're not going to send you a car. We're not going to send you money. We're not even going to send, send you something you better. It, something better is coming your way. We're going to send you a certificate stating that you, in fact, do not have donkey brains. Wow, guys, that's that's fantastic. Thank you, Glenn, Charlie, and Rob, that, and Meg. Thank you. That's wonderful, guys. Yeah. All right, well, Joe. Thanks you seem for like calling. A, you seem like a sweet All person. right, Joe. Yeah. Have a great day, and uh, and congrats on on your official donkey brainless status. All right, you guys have a great day. Too. You too, bye, Joe. Bye. All right, bye. Bye. good talking to you. Nice. Just very nice. Very sweet. Ding, 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 ding. You don't got donkey brains. Thank you for calling the Always Sunny podcast. You're on with Rob, Charlie, and Glenn. Hey! Oh my God! Hi! 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 Who's calling today? My name's Hana. Hi, Hana. Hana. Hana, where are you calling us from? Yeah. Um, I'm calling from Seattle, Washington. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Is it raining? Of course, it's raining. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what kind of question wow. is that? Of course, well, it's raining. Well. Do you have one of those lamps? That you have that uh, make sure that you don't kill yourself, you know, from depression. Oh, the happy oh. lamp. Yeah, no, I used to, but it broke. So oh, oh, wait, 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 so wait. What, 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 what the hell kind of lamp are you talking about? It's... I want a happy lamp. <laughs> I, I need so a happy, happy lamp. lamp. No, there's no, no lamp for you. No, no, yeah. no, if, yeah. if you're living in California, ain't working. The lamp's not going to help. But yeah. I don't want to go they, outside. They I just want a lamp to do it. For you, <laughs> they just call it medication. It's yeah. mood enhancing medication. Okay, so it's not a lamp. It's a pill. I worry if we give you that lamp. I worry we'll never see you. Again. You, yeah, you, you may not. No, but I, I, my, my office is in the basement of my house. I need some kind of a lamp to there keep me go. happy. All right, well, do some right, research well, and, and get. What's a it called? A happy lamp? Yeah. Okay. Let's well, recreate the sun, and we've established that you hate the sun. So I would just be. No, just, but I, I did. But a happy lamp's not going to do the same thing that the sun does, which is just like if I want to turn it off, I can turn it. I can turn the sun off. I'd uh, like to. Hannah, um, how do you feel as though you're going to do it? It's always sunny trivia. Are you a big fan? Longtime fan? I love this show. So, yes, I I think, well, yeah, I'm pretty confident. Okay, so season five, episode 10, The Dennis System. Can you tell me what the D in Dennis System stands for? The D. It was. You got it, Anna. You oh, can crap. do this. You can do this. <laughs> do I get any hints? No. Well, I'll, I'll say no. this. If you can name any of the stages that the Dennis System will give you this point. Okay. Generous. D was a demonstrate value. That's yes, right. Very Hannah, good. Just enough time no, to type no, it into no, Google. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah. Just hold enough time second. to type now, it into Google. Second. You either Googled that or you got a friend in the room. Which is it? <laughs> no, no, no. Tell the truth. Hannah, you <laughs> I, had I no idea. It. And then I all of a Google sudden, you, you said it with such conviction. Yeah, a lot of conviction. <laughs> are we, are we, I have my yeah. boyfriend mouthing, I have my boyfriend mouthing things in the corner. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. All right. That's at fine. Least admit it. That's at least fine. you admit it. Well, All then right. we fine. might have to change the certificate to saying you and your boyfriend okay. don't have talking to Also, we might have to put people on a clock. Because uh, they, otherwise you have time to Google. You got time to Google. Yeah. Can't have time There's to Google. There's an honor system happening. There's an honor system. She did tell the truth about the boyfriend, so we'll put him on the certificate. Okay, okay. 
season 11, episode five, Mac and Dennis moved to the suburbs. What is the name of Mac and Dennis's annoying neighbor? Oh, my gosh. Oof, uh, tough Was one. it? Yeah. Okay. It's... <laughs> Chance to steal? Chance to steal. <laughs> Wally. Uh, Wally. Wally. It was Wally. <laughs> sorry. We're so sorry. Oh, sorry, uh, Anna, your boyfriend. Uh, you've got sorry, donkey brains. You officially have donkey, donkey brains. brains. You got donkey brains. Thanks for calling the Always Sunny podcast. You're on with Rob, Charlie, and Glenn. It's true, you are. Hi, how's it going? How's it going? Who's calling us today? What's your name and where do you live? Uh, this is Corey from Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Oh, yes. right. from Michigan there. Our first international yes. caller. Our first international oh. caller. Yeah, That's... yeah, buddy. Leading maple syrup up here. Oh, Great. Canada. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, uh, are you a big fan of the show? Long time fan? Oh, I'm a huge fan. I've been probably watching Always Sunny for probably about 10 years now. My brother was a huge fan and got me into the show. Mm, great. Okay, so you think you're going to do pretty well at trivia, eh? I think I'll do pretty good, eh? All right, I'll see what I can do. The first uh, question is from <laughs> Season 7, Episode 7, Charty McDennis, The Game of Games. And the question is, yep. Dennis is asshole, why Charlie hate? Oh, Dennis is asshole, why Charlie hate? Hmm, hmm. <laughs> Uh, is it because he changed the rules or because he met? No, it's because he melted his no, figurine. You know, right? answer. Oh. Uh, Glenn, Glenn, can you perform it the way that you. Because <laughs> Dennis is a bastard man! Yeah. Because yeah. Dennis right. is a bastard man. That yeah. is yeah. correct. That oh, is the Dennis answer. Dennis is a bastard man. Oh, we cannot send you a certificate. Mm. You will not be able to prove that you don't have Yee-haw. the brains of a donkey. Yee-haw. Oh, oh no. <laughs> You know, Honestly, I can't even believe I just made it on here. That, that was a win in itself. That is a win in and of uh, itself. Uh, Enjoy you sweet. Canada. And, I love Canadians. I love you guys. Very you stressful. guys are the best. You got donkey brains. Thanks for calling the Always Sunny podcast. You're on with Rob, Charlie, and Glenn. Who do we have here? Wait, let me guess. John? Holy shit, I got on. No, it's Steven. Oh, oh, Steven. Uh, Damn it. Good. All right. Okay. Damn it. All right, Steven. Hi, Steven. Where are you calling us from? Uh, the doctor's office. I just sat down. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, so what, what's going thing? on, man? Yeah, what's, what, yeah, what's, what's happening? happening? You let us help you. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can cure it. <laughs> I think I need more alcohol is the solution. Mm. What is going on? Mm. Tell doubtful. us the truth. Doubtful. Steven, what is the problem? Yeah, what's going on? Is this just a general thing? I have or? a mild allergy, allergy to aspirin, actually. Oh. Doing oh. a follow-up. You don't need to go okay, to the doctor okay. for that. Just don't take aspirin. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, he's doing a follow-up to see if he's got the aspirin out of his system. Come on, it can't be that bad. I've got the first trivia question. I've got the first trivia question. Oh, you're going to ask it? You're going to ask it? We're going to ask you three questions. Okay. Uh, okay. S- the nurse just came in, so she's going to be here with me. <laughs> that oh, okay. Okay. Put it on okay. speaker phone. All right, go ahead. Yeah, put it on speaker Let's talk to the nurse. Okay, that's fine. Are we on speaker? Okay, we're... We're on speaker now. Okay. We, hey, how's it going? We're, John's on a radio show. He's doing trivia. And uh, we're going to try to get these answers in before he passes. So, um, <laughs> so actually, now that we have the okay. nurse on the line. Uh, the, Our, um, nurse, can we ask you your name? Where is this? Uh, it's Always Sunny Podcast. So it's Rob Mack and Charlie from the TV show Always Sunny. No, I'm not going to get my name. Oh, okay. That's, that's <laughs> by the way, totally yeah, that's, fair. That's and, highly and professional. Actually, highly yes, professional. Yes, and I would advise uh, as your attorney to do the same. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, w- have you seen our, the television show? No. What's it called? Uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lots okay. of fun. All right. Lots, lots of fun. Of, okay, so okay. Let's, let's ask. Well, let's, let's ask. Let's let's, let's, let's okay. ask. Maybe we should Steven ask Stephen his his trivia question. Maybe we should ask the nurse a question. Well, assuming that, but, but something rather easy, I, like who is on, who is the most I famous mean, person on the show? Let's just say, mm. who is the most <laughs> I famous think we all person? Know the answer to that. Fair to Stephen, who's called from the doctor. I'm office. just trying to have fun. You Stephen know? doesn't have time for this, and neither does the nurse. Okay. Great. Let's just go back okay. to the way you're Shenanigans. Doing it. All right. Um, this question is from season one, episode four. Charlie has cancer. What is Dennis coming over to borrow when he finds out Charlie might have cancer? Well, it could be a number of things, but if I remember correctly, it was sugar. 
Well, wow. 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 Okay, that's really uh, interesting. That's a right. fair. What's interesting is that Sugar was our original home, home movie. movie. The the thing that aired in the episode was he was coming over for a basketball. But yeah, I, but think I think he gets the point. point. I, think, I think we get him credit. I think he gets a point. Stephen, I sugar. think you get the point for being because right. it's a deep cut. Yeah, that's it's a, a deep. Yeah, a, you, you got to really know the the origins of the show. You sure do. Sugar. Okay, okay way to go, Stephen. Okay. You got one point. Of three. Okay. Um, the next question is season three, episode fourteen. Bums making a mess all over the city. What is the name of the junkyard cat that Dennis adopts? Mm, mm-hmm. You renamed him Jack Bauer. Yep. That is correct. Agent, Agent Jack Bauer. Agent Jack Bauer. Okay. Agent Jack Bauer, but Jack well, Bauer counts. I think that two. counts. Two, two, for two. two for two. Okay, Steven, right. you're on your way. You're right. on your way, Last buddy. Last one. Season five, episode eight, Patty's Pub, home of the original Kitten Mittens. Um, inspired by Charlie's Kitten Mittens idea, what do Dennis and Mac come up with to advertise the bar? You can, uh, either I, thing they I, come up I, with. I, but I believe it was a shotgun or a gunshot. <laughs> oh, no, that's Steven correct. is a big fan. And in addition to that, there's the Patty's thong. Yes. And, and Why is Steven going to win? <laughs> Steven, we are going to send you a certificate stating that you, in fact, do not have donkey brains. This will be an official certificate. You uh, can show it every time you show up to a job interview or the doctor's office. It is legal and binding. And uh, good luck uh, at the doctor's office and stay away from aspirin. It doesn't it doesn't treat you well. Ding, 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 ding. You don't got donkey brains. Thanks for calling the Always Sunny podcast. You're on with Rob, Charlie and Glenn. Who do we have on the line? This is Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel where are you calling us from? Hey, uh, Texas, actually. South Texas. All right. Okay. Yes. 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 South Texas. Gabriel, are you a longtime Sonny fan? You think you're going to do well at trivia? I hope so, man. I've been listening since I was 18. I'm 35 now, so. I love it. Okay. Rob's got a question for you since you're from Texas. Uh, yes. Ross, Gabriel, do you have uh, the state of Texas uh, or the Longhorns somewhere tattooed on your body? Unfortunately, I do not, but my mm. girlfriend does. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. There you well, go. Right. <laughs> we were saying it was about a 50 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so. yeah it's about 50 50. All right. That's does, she have, does she have a longhorn? Does she have a state flag? What does she got there? It's a it's a, the shape of Texas. So the shape of Texas, shape and, of Texas. The, and then does she have like a little uh, like a little circle into what part of this of the state she lives in or is from? A dot, maybe. No, I've seen that I, before. No, well. I believe it's a it's a the the state, and then it's like the flag of Texas. Yeah. Yes. Uh, in great. the that state. tracks. Yeah. Okay. Y'all love it. Y'all love it down there. And <clears throat> I love it. Too. Love it. So mm-hmm. proud of it. So I, proud of it. It's I can't great. believe I'm talking to you guys. This is insane. <laughs> I can't crazy. believe you're talking joke. to us either. All right, Gabriel. Your first question is from season three, episode two. The gang gets invincible. What is the name of D's male alter ego? Ah, oh, no. Um, Dresses yeah. up like a man. What is that man's name? Hmm. That's a tough one, I gotta say. It's, well, it's, we just watched that, the that episode. Is, yeah, that I, is if we hadn't one. rewatched that one, I don't think I would have known But we did mention it in the podcast, so maybe we you're not really listening the to the podcast. Uh, Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel. You're, kind of a double... uh, you're gonna get docked. You're gonna get docked for that, so <laughs> yeah. the answer is Cole. Yeah. That is correct. Uh, Cole. Oh, Cole. Cole. Yeah. 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 Is that ringing Cole. a bell now? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, now it is, but I was oh, thinking of that. Oh, buddy. I can feel the disappointment in your voice. Thanks for calling in, And it makes me sad, because I like you, I like you. Uh, okay. If you'd like, we can send you nothing uh, to your local tattooist uh, to get the state of Texas <laughs> on you somewhere. Um, yeah, but uh, we're but not going about, to. No, 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 no. no, no. no You're gonna have to do that on your own. Simply recommend that you do. Yeah. Oh man, Gabriel, thanks for calling thanks, in. Gabriel. Thanks for being a uh, you know small part of our lives. You got donkey brains. Thanks for calling the Always Sunny podcast. You're on with Rob, Charlie, and Glenn. Who is this? Oh my God. This is Katie from South Philly. Oh, Katie. oh my God. South Philly. What oh my street God. do you live on, Katie? Um, I'm at 10th and Daly, oh, like a okay. little north of Oregon. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Rob knows Oregon, the area. Near the Oregon Diner, he, right there by the Oregon Diner. Have you met Rob before? Right there, yeah. Have, have we you? met? We have not met. Okay. Okay. I don't think so. I think I would have remembered. You're probably. I'm guessing you're I 20 think, years younger yeah, than, than yeah, Rob, yeah, aren't yeah. you? Time I left the city of Philadelphia, no, you were no, not no, born. Not. Yeah, Rob I lives in a big mansion in Los Angeles now. He's not in South Philly anymore. Uh, <laughs> where, what, where, where did you go to school? Where to high school did you go to? I went to Morristown High School in Jersey. Uh, I wanted him. Yeah, I wanted him. You get um, you to commute. 
All right. Uh, well, uh, uh, let's hope you're good at trivia because if you get three questions in a row correct, we're going to send you a certificate stating you, in fact, do not have donkey brains. Well, I love that. And I have one sunny trivia in South Philly before. Oh, oh, okay. 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 All right. She's, oh, she's, coming in. she's a professional. Should so I ask her something more difficult? Let's, yeah. yeah okay. let's, let's, We're going to come just, at you hard, Katie. We're going to come at you hard now. All right, Katie. You're how, fr- many Reggie Leach, how many Reggie Leach jokes have you guys gotten so far? Wow. Wow. Reggie Leach. Okay, wait a second. That might stump these guys here. Do you know who Reggie Leach is? I know his brother Robin, and he <laughs> he uh, he had that show about the rich and famous. Yes, uh, Reggie yeah. Leach has, yeah. has played a role in our sh- in our show. Played on the Flyers. Played Reggie the Leach Flyers. played on the Flyers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. Great. Um, Great. And what episode? It, it was it was the episode where it was the answer that you answered correctly, mm-hmm. and you got to go take the slap shot. Yes. Thank you. Max yeah. big break. Thank you. All right. Bing, bing, Very bing, good. Bing, Max bing, big break. Good. By the way, you know those the 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 picture of the two guy flyer guys that we have. They're not flyers. Oh they're, oh that well, that one yes you uh, know how the yes yeah, so go ahead go ahead. I I met that guy, like on the set of like Good Morning America. He was like working. He's like, hey, man, that's me in the picture. And that's in, crazy. Yeah. In, in your bar. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Lovely that's gentleman. Amazing. That's pretty All cool. Right, all right. Let's get to the question. OK, right? Katie, your first question is from season nine, episode seven. The gang gets quarantined to appeal to sympathies. D is going to play a southern army vet whose father died of throat cancer after eating what? Some bad pussy. Yeah, <laughs> Katie. I'll tell you what, was great. So fast. It was the adding of the bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> because it had gone bad. It turned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It had turned. Yeah. Yeah. I think it I was think... also the stutter that that helped. <laughs> oh yeah. I think just just saying pussy alone would not have been no, acceptable. No. Like that's not going to give you. It was the bad pussy it's that, 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 gave it's him that had had turned. That had it, turned. Had, it had gone bad. <laughs> the Michael. Douglas. The Michael, Michael Douglas yeah, disease. Yeah, yes. That's right. Yes. yes. Well yeah. done. Wow. Well you're done. You even know the reference. Oh, All this right. Is All right. This God. is uh, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to okay. dig deeper here. Okay. I know. I'm trying to Kate. find some like more. My hands are sweating. We have a professional <laughs> on our hands. Did you say your hands are sweating? <laughs> All right. My hands are, they are a little sweaty, but I said that they're shaking. shaking. Oh, they're shaking. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Yeah. That's all right. You don't need steady hands. Oh, you don't. Oh, do oh, all so right. You can focus well, on this. Listen, you if you win, steady we're going to. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Your next question is from season 12, episode eight, the gang tens bar. And the question is, what is the name of Frank's tapeworm? Jerry. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Yes. She had it faster than me. She yes. had it faster than me. It had not come to my I, brain I, yet. Yeah, it hadn't come to me yet either. Wow. Jerry, that right. is exactly hey. right. I don't think this is a donkey brain person. This we're is dealing not with. a donkey this brain seems person. Like this a, is not a donkey brain person. I don't at think so. All. No. Okay. What, after she wins, answering whatever this one is, you maybe. Katie, you should ask uh, us one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Try to yeah. stump us. Oh, she's she's going to stump us first. Sure. I think she should. Okay. I think that's okay. a good All idea. Right. Okay. I like that All plan. Right. Great. You think of that, and I'm going to give you your last question here, which is season four, episode six, Mac and Charlie die part two. Dennis gets a new European roommate. What is his name? Oh, you might have stumped me, guys. It's, oh, no. And I'm also tiptoeing the line of like trying not to be racist. <laughs> well, no. uh, 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 try Europe that isn't hard. a race, there's so a, you're all right a... there. Europe uh, is not a race. Yeah, I believe I believe we established that he is European, and that's it. And that's yeah, it. yeah, that's it. That's and I it. think his yeah, his accent was just vaguely European. European, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Which I, yeah, uh, yeah, it is giving that ambiguous European vibe. Right. Glenn, Glenn, guys, Glenn, I've what, never been. What, so was, what was the answer? I'm so sorry, Katie, but the answer is yawn. That yawn. is correct. Yeah. Now, wow, that's yep. surprising. Now listen, didn't get that one now because, because you got deep cuts like yeah. Jerry yeah. and uh, whatever we. Have I think we should time. give her one more shot. I think we should give her a chance to stump us. She stumps us. Okay, you stump yeah. us. You stump us. You get the point. You get that third point. You get a certificate. Wait, three stumps. Uh-oh. Does she have to stump us? Three times or just, no, one just, one, just, just one, one stump. stump. One, one stump. stump. Okay. All right. Can one you stump? stump. Right. A can stump? I? Make, can I just make a quick request that Rob? I don't think Rob should answer. Should be allowed to answer this one. Okay. But oh, okay. My question. Okay. Well, how about this? If because it's probably Philly related. If the guys can't answer it and they get stumped, you get the certificate. If I too am stumped, we're going to send you a case of Carmine steaks. <laughs> 
Mm. The stakes are the stakes. <laughs> Only with chicken feathers, please. Only with chicken feathers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, chicken feathers. Okay. 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 Wait, here's the problem. Though. Rip Rip oh, I, I, I have a feeling she's about, is this going to be sunny trivia or just trivia in general? This is sunny trivia. Okay, great. Okay, Go. okay. okay. But why is it that you think that it's because I'm... Because it's going to be Philly related. related. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be Philly related. Yeah. I won't be able to recall the season or episode, but when Charlie bets the bar on the dance marathon contest, mm -hmm. what radio station uh, oh. does he sign up with? Yes. Oh. You will not have stumped me. Uh, 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 like, what are the call letters? Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's yeah. Q, Q something... Oh god damn it! What is it? Uh, oh oh shit! Yes. Wait, the Q crew. The Q I remember crew. it's the Q crew. It's the but Q crew. At... It's the Q crew. I'm already impressed. WKRQ? Mm. No. <laughs> shit. It's just, it's you are stumped, but I'm... it is Q one o two. Q one o two. The Q crew. The Q crew. You know what, uh, Katie? I think that we're gonna have to send you a certificate, a signed certificate, yeah. stating that you do wow. not, in fact, have donkey brains yes. because it seems to me like you don't. I don't think you do. And I tell you what, Katie, I couldn't remember Jan, so you, like, it wasn't a clean sweep on our end. I didn't. I. I did not. And the only reason I remember Q one hundred two is because Q one hundred two was a real radio station the in Q Philadelphia. Group. Uh, the Q, Q, Q group. Uh, congratulations. Great work. Guys, you don't thank have you so, donkey brains. So very much. Thank you. And that certificate. I love I, Sunny. Oh, go sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I I just love Sunny. I love you guys. I've always heard like don't meet your idols, but that's bullshit because <laughs> you guys are fucking awesome and I can't believe I got to spend this day with you. I ignored a call from my boss while I was on hold. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <It's been awesome. laughs> thank you. That feels thank so you. nice. You've been awesome too. It's nice to know someone uh, loves the show and knows so much about it. Yeah. yeah. Thank thanks, you. Katie. Thanks, Congrats. Guys. Megan, you're awesome. I oh. love your laugh. Oh, thanks, Katie. Right. She does have a great laugh. We do, laugh. too. Oh. Got a great laugh. We do, too. Thank great you. Laugh, yep. We do, too. All right. Laugh. Oh, thanks for calling in, Katie. Appreciate it. Ding, 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 ding. You don't got donkey brains. Do you want me to ask you the hard, like, uh, really hard one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, ask us some really uh, hard ones. Let's top it off with a little self trivia. Yeah. Okay. How oh, about wait, 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 wait. We should we should do a thing where like we who, either blurt out the answer. Like we have to whoever answers first gets mm -hmm. a point. Or are we all on the same team? Why don't we just have a instead of making competitive, we're all on the same team. You want to make okay. it? A, well, we can make it. I've got one. Okay, let's let's do that first and see how it goes. Okay, season four, episode seven. Who pooped the bed? Name the items found in the poop. Oh, uh, a wolf, wolf hair, hair wolf. credit card. Wolf hair, some, cre some sh shredded credit card. There's two uh, more and things. And blood. There's and blood. one more thing. Okay. There was blood. blood. I know wolf there was. hair, credit card, uh, pocket lint. Pocket lint? No, 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 like no, 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 no. from a sweater? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, a uh, uh, cat litter. No. No? <laughs> newspaper. Oh, newspaper. newspaper. Shit. Okay. Newspaper. Wolf hair was the only thing wolf that was the, Wolf hair was the joke. Was the good joke. <laughs> Inconclusive. Was, uh, inconclusive. Yeah, inconclusive. Inconclusive. Yeah. inconclusive. <laughs> yeah. All those things have been like, that has to be one of you specifically. It's like, no, nah, uh, okay. it could that be either one either of way. us. <laughs> we both bit the wolf. All right. How about season six, episode one, Mac fi fights gay marriage. Where did Charlie find the almonds he feeds to the gang? Alley. Uh, yeah, 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 he found them in the alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah found them in the alley. Yeah, very good. They were alley you almonds. Guys do know. Yeah. Um, According to the game Charty McDennis, what is the greatest band in the world? Chum -a -wum -a. Chum -a -wum -a. We talked about this. Come on. I, what, what, what thing? What episode did I? I found something in a pipe. It was like the snake. Egg. It could have been a snake egg. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. an egg. It was an egg it was but a, you didn't know what it was. You didn't know if it was a snake or a bird. Yeah, because it was in a pipe. Yeah, yes. Here's one. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. the name uh, in season eight, episode eight? Charlie rules the world. What is Dee's screen name in the online game she's playing? Uh, Queen of Thrones. No, uh, no, 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 no. That's swinging, her, uh, swinging no, no, cutie. No, no. Yeah, or, or oh, oh. something cutie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Twenties. Nine or something, sw swinging cuties, yeah, yeah. Like twenty clouds. something. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Don't know. The, the twenty nine no was to represent her age. <laughs> yeah, yeah, twenty three. Yeah. Twenty three. Yeah. Was it swinging cutie? No, zinging, zinging cutie. cutie. Wow, zinging cutie. That, no, Glenn, Glenn, that's nothing. pretty good. I have nothing there. That's zinging cutie twenty three. Zinging, right, zinging cutie twenty three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, let's see if we have any others. In season nine, episode nine, the gang makes lethal weapon six. What instrument does the remaining twin use to blow up the wedding? 
<laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is that, can you say that again? Oh, uh, uh, cello. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's correct. Right. cello. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got a big antenna yeah, on yeah, it, a red totally. button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> playing with the cello. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. Yeah, we really break it down. I'm like, uh, like, uh, like, so, so happy that the one woman got um, bad pussy. I really oh, like that. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. That was amazing. I mean, the pussy bad joke pussy. is obvious, but bad pussy, I'd forgotten yeah. the specific. Yeah. I know I've said this a million times, but that I think is my one of my favorite moments. I think maybe my favorite performance moment on the entire in the entire show yeah. is her performance of that that particular moment yeah that's very good moment, it is just sure. it just kills me it kills me what else you got any more good any uh more? sure um what uh season five episode five the waitress is getting married what is the name of the waitress's fiance brad brad fisher brad, brad fisher. fisher very good you guys are great at this let's do one final trivia question okay, okay. one okay. for the road one for the all right your great. deepest track your deepest cut um <clears throat> season seven episode three frank reynolds little beauties what is the name of d's rival in the oh. beauty pageant okay Ooh. okay Pop, the okay. popular pretty girl yep 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 yeah oh man Mm, damn it it's not brianna no oh god i can't i don't know it's the it's yeah the the the, the younger sister right that that she's competing the against one. the pretty one yeah who and does, who, like, who does end win. up winning the yeah. one who wins yeah right? the one who wins yeah. <laughs> she's the prettiest i love that ending you're like well she's the prettiest <laughs> uh damn it what was her name um yeah, well, you said you just said Brianna, and like, oh, I fucked you up. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. Brittany, Did I get that Brittany, stuck in your head? Brittany? Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's not Brittany. No, no oh, shit. What is it? Samantha. Samantha. Samantha! Samantha! <laughs>